to, uh, to get to the news of the day, I guess. But, uh, what can you tell us about the talks in Beijing? Uh, the six delegations who were meeting in Beijing again today. What of when the U.S. is looking at? Well, first of all, I don't think it's a discussion that was initiated by Deputy Secretary Armitage. It's a discussion that's been going on for some time, as he indicated. Um, I think what a number of you have, have looked at are his comments in a uh, response to some questions from some of your colleagues in an interview. Secretary Powell himself said last week uh, after his meeting with Kofi Annan, the UN Secretary General in New York, um, that we would be working with the Secretary General staff, with our Security Council colleagues, to see what steps might be taken to further encourage other United Nations member states to contribute to Iraq's rebuilding. Remember, there are already a number of states involved in the process, uh, many of them uh, with troops on the ground uh, supporting uh, the efforts there at stabilization and security. Tell us whether, it, whether it's so that uh, there was an announcement from nuclear weapons uh, are that there needs to be a complete, verifiable, and irreversible elimination of the North Korean nuclear weapons program. We've got a long way to go, and there's really not a whole lot I can add to that. No determinations have been made. No decisions have been made. The exploration, the discussion, the dialogue in this process uh, continues. The important thing is uh, that we are committed uh, to our goals for Iraq, and that is to see a, a stable and hopefully prosperous uh, country emerge, and we're talking to others in the international community about how we can best continue going about that. Weapons uh, are that there needs to be a complete, verifiable, and irreversible elimination of the North Korean nuclear weapons.